Hi everybody and welcome back to the last video in the Looking for Spring series. This one is so cute. We're making a button bouquet. Okay, so we're going to start off with a salt and pepper shaker. This I got from the dollar store. We're going to put a little bit of polyacrylic inside of it. This is because I'm going to um, put glitter inside. You could also just use a piece of paper. Um, you could pour in paint and swirl it around. All right, so we put in a little bit of polyacrylic. And then you're going to make sure it hits all of the edges. Roll it around good. You would do the same thing with paint. And then you're going to stick it in a cup upside down so that it continues to run. And that's there for a few minutes. Next, we're going to move on to cutting some design paper for the backs of our flowers. This you can make anything you want, any kind of color. I'm going to put this in my living room. My living room is kind of a primitive theme. So I'm picking colors that will match my room. But you could do these in any color that you'd like. Next, we're going to pick out some buttons that'll also match our theme and match our papers. Now, I'm going to just put some twine in the holes of the button just to fill them in, add a little extra. And once that's done, we're going to glue each button onto the front of the paper that you cut out. I'm going to add just a little bit of extra color. And I'm going to take a um, dauber on my finger. I'm sorry, it's out of view. And just kind of go around the edges of each flower. It makes it pop a little bit more. And once that's all good, I'm going to take a small dowel rod and just kind of curl the edges just to give them some life. This is kind of like, um, you don't want to pull too hard because it's just paper. It's kind of like how you used to do the curling ribbon, only the opposite way. Alright, now our probably acrylic should be pretty well, I just wanted to dry a little bit and to drain out. So now we're going to add, I'm going to add glitter. You could add whatever you'd like, or you could just do this whole thing with paint. So we'll throw some glitter in. And just shake it around. And keep adding more until it's coated to your satisfaction. Okay, and now on to the flowers. Now I'm using floral wire that's already pre-cut in like a stem. Um, I found this better and easier to use than the paddle wire because the paddle wire is going to have all the kinks and everything in it. So this is already straight. So we're just going to, but I cut them each in half. I think these are like 18 inches long or such. I'm not sure. Um, so I, you know, just measured up against your salt and pepper shaker. I cut them about in half and we're just going to glue them onto the backs. Now, if you also, if you're going to want to put this someplace where you're going to see the back of it, you could also cut an extra piece of um, 
paper out to glue on the back so you don't see the wire. Or cover it with a little bit of felt. Or you could just leave it if it's not going to be seen. Mine's not going to be seen, so I'm not going to worry about it. And there you go. We've got three little flowers that are going to be our main pieces. Next, we need to take some floral foam and kind of size it up roughly to the jar, to your salt and pepper shaker, I'm sorry, and stick that in there. That just kind of helps keep the flowers in the right spot. Screw the lid back on, and now we're ready to decorate it. You're just going to kind of stick them in wherever they look good for you. And of course, with the wires, you can turn them a little bit to make them a little bit whimsical looking. You can, of course, shorten them if you need to. Okay, so there's our start with that. Next, you're going to pick out the little littler buttons or bigger buttons, decorative buttons, to kind of spread around and fill it out a little bit. These, I cut the wires down a little bit longer, or a little bit shorter, I'm sorry. So once you decide what one you like, you're just going to hot glue them and then stick them in the little holes of the salt and pepper shaker top. And the other thing that I did was you could take this, I used just a dowel rod. You could use a pencil, you could use a marker, a paintbrush, just so something round to kind of wrap the wire around it. it kind of gives it a little bit of movement and a little bit of interest instead of just the plain straight wires. A little whimsical. While we're watching me put the rest of the buttons and such in, I'll just back up a little bit and say that if you don't have polycrylic, you could actually use hairspray. Um, just don't let it dry too long before you put the glitter in. Okay, so now that all the buttons are in place, I have these cute little things in my stash. A dragonfly and a butterfly. They're like um, cardboard pieces. I decided to use the dragonfly and I added a little bit of ink like I used on the flowers just to bring out the design in it and pop that on. There you go. I love how this looks and it can be so versatile. You can make any kind of color that you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this series of looking for spring around the craft table. Be watching my website or my Facebook and other social medias for the next video series coming soon. Thanks so much for watching.